Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Aiman bin Zahari. My metric number 275486. Greetings to my lecturer Dr. Roshita Binti Abdul Razak. Today, I will present about my individual assignment, the benefits of the conventions to the horse industry. For the previous, conventions are often top of as occasion for individuals to exchange and expand their expertise in a certain subject or interest that work with others and experience some of the destination's best attraction. Convention and visitor burials in collaboration with local government, economic development agencies, academic and scientific institutions, local business improvement district and others play a far larger and more active role in accelerating economic growth and driving innovation. As in Malaysia, our government are very committed to expand our convention and exhibition by launching our nation's economic transformation program that is known as EDP, make our country as much and with new business events destination. The EDP was designed to help Malaysia reach developed nation status by 2020 and business events has been recognized as a key contributor to this growth and in line with the ETP strategic priority to focus on attracting high yield business travelers. Since then, with adequate funding and commitment from government under the ETP, Malaysia's business events industry has performed exceedingly well, making the country a much envied new business events destination. Now it's about the potential benefits of conventions to the host industry. The benefits are created new business partnership and collaboration. Another positive influence an event may have on a host city is the opportunity to generate more economic possibilities. Host communities use events to demonstrate their expertise, host possible investors, and promote new business prospects. Second, focus on event evolution. It is not simply the hospitality industry that generates convention revenue as many people believe according to recent economic research staging organization technology and event planning account for more than half of a community's revenue areas far beyond what would traditionally be thought of as visitor service this is a much more diverse set of benefits meaning lots more sectors share in the results third bring new knowledge, experience, and expertise. The delegates attending in order to share and enhance experience and expertise. When it comes to community benefit as a whole, the best of all is why delegates are there in the first place. They are attending in order to share and enhance experience and expertise, which generally rubs off on the local community leaving a legacy of knowledge and creative experience that both reflects well on the host destination and advance the context and knowledge of the local business, academy and professional communities. Fourth, enhance history, exposure and image. Major events attract global attention, whether within a specialized audience or when the world as a whole is watching what's going on. This raises city profile and prestige, particularly when the achievement of a hosted group relate to the policy objectives of local government. Fifth, generate future tourism. Delegates are people who might otherwise never have come to a conference destination and thus a whole new market for future visits. Sixth, spread the hospitality season, meeting, convention and conference on the other hand, have much more flexibility and often seek out off season specifically to get better deals on accommodation and to avoid in the chaos of peak periods. In the end, this is just what most hospitality suppliers need in order to sustain them through the more challenging times until the next peak arrives. Next is about introduction to MICE. MICE consists of M, which is meeting, I, incentive, C, convention, and E, event. MICE definitions. M stands for meeting, 
meeting is an event where the primary activity of the attendees is to attend educational sessions, participate in meetings and discussions, socialize or attend other organized events. It is designed to bring people together for purpose of exchanging information. There are types of meetings, which is clinic, forum, seminar, symposium, and workshop. I stand for incentive travel, a vacation given as a reward or bonus for exceptional sales achievement. Planning and incentive program includes setting goals, designing performance measurement instrument, communicating goals and standards, choosing appropriate rewards, and celebrating achievement. C stands for conference. Conference is a group of people who meet at a predetermined location and time to talk or engage in a similar interest. Why E is stand for exhibition. Exhibition is a well-organized exhibition and presentation of a variety of objects. Museums, galleries, and exhibition halls are common places for exhibitions. Next is a benefit of MICE industry. First, it generates sales and value. MICE is an important source of business for many hotels. First, exhibitors and attendees fill many rooms at properties with meeting facilities or close to convention centers. Second, a study from Hong Kong found that on average, MICE guests pay 17.5% more than major guests. Second, increasing knowledge. Exchanging technology knowledge or new knowledge, for example, like facial recognition, augmented reality AR, Internet of Things, and visual event platforms commonly used in last pandemic. Third, boost employee productivity and morale. With MIC industry, the employee who work in this section will get a lot of experience and enhance their work skills and ability. They also will have a chance to get promoted to a better position and gain more salaries. Fourth, boosting the economy. MIC industry is also a service industry which encompasses transportation, sales, finance, and travel. The reason why MICE industry should be promoted is the potential that it has for boosting the economy. Next is about impact of COVID-19 pandemic to MICE industry. The pandemic effects. The pandemic of COVID-19 had adversely impacted the global MICE industry growth. The players who are operating in the industry suffered huge revenue losses due to ban on travel and tourism by governments across the globe in an attempt to contain the spread of coronavirus. Almost all MIC events were either cancelled or postponed due to COVID-19. Almost all countries are afraid to make an event, conference or exhibition because of the danger of the coronavirus which is easily to spread among people who are gathering at one place. Second, many staff has to be laid off or receive pay cut, especially hotel and airline industry due to restriction from the government which people can't go out for having leisure. Most hotel and airlines lost a lot of customers and they don't have enough expenses to continue the operation. Third, hospital industry has suffered great loss. Fourth, create new norms of work as time in pandemic. New SOP and MCO are bring a new norms to our people most of our people are working from home at this time by using assistance of internet to conduct meetings, visual conference, and many more. How new normal practices are implemented to MIC industry? Despite the impact of the worldwide pandemic on the tourism industry, MIC events appear to have a bright future. This sector isn't going away anytime soon. With so many companies and industry aimed at both MIC events, the supply and demand. This barrier brings to a new method or norm which people use the advantage of technology by using online platforms to connect each other, by using Skype, Zoom, and Google Meet to host the MICE events. Second, all business events and conferences will be conducted with new SOP and full safety measures. Third, open up to new modern business with technology assistance. Fourth, developing to hybrid event with a mix of live and online delegates than a fully virtual event. As a summary, MICE industry has bring a lot of benefits to the host country especially when it came to hospitality industry which boasts up the sales and opportunity. In recent years, COVID-19 has led worldwide MICE travel to stagnate and decrease 
posting several difficulties to the industry assistance, upgrading and upgrades are necessary in this aspect in order to revitalize the sector. The adoption of a hybrid approach across the sector might help to boost the industry's stagnating economy. That's all for me. Thank you.